I know. Why don't you practice just jumping? Can the three of you just stand there? Yeah. Go one, two, three, and jump. Cool. Okay, one, two. Gary Stewart is the artistic director of Australian Dance Theatre. That was better. He's known throughout the world for his hyperkinetic style of choreography. It's quite aerial, it's ballistic. He's known for high impact, high intensity, speed. But this time, Gary is using extreme high speed camera technology to slow everything down. It's fabulous. It's like he's getting a whole eyeful, isn't he? <laughs> Carmelo Musca is an award-winning documentary and feature film director. I love collaboration. I think with film, it's always a team effort. Together with their band of highly skilled artists and technicians, and with first aid kit at the ready... So keep the ice on your lip. These first-time collaborators have gathered a cast of nearly 100 people from different physical disciplines. I'm an actor. I compete aerobic gymnastics for Australia. We're Link Dance Company. I'm coach the Rossmore and Rhinos Footy Club. I'm a professional wrestler. We're cricket buddies. We've all agreed to give a rather unusual performance. Try it again. When you set out to do something that's called collision course, you think about collision. Yeah. It's not dancing, it's movement and it's physically contacting people. When it's finished, this study in movement will screen on the outside of buildings and in art galleries around the world. But first, they've got to get it there. You've got to work fast on your feet. Sometimes um, someone just hasn't gotten off the ground. Hit, hit, and then turn. But when it works, it makes one hell of an impact. I love this. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Generally, I just make works about things that obviously that interest me, and I guess in my mind I have a compendium of ideas, and and I just kind of wait for the right moment for that particular idea to to, to come forward and be manifested. The Southbank Centre in London asked me if I wanted to make something for their community arts program, their outreach program. So I came up with this idea of. Um, bodies colliding in mid-air, people from different movement disciplines and kind of mixing it up, getting people from the community in London. And they all loved the idea and thought it was wonderful and then, um, well, they did a costing on it. <laughs> At the time, you know, you, you could only do it with film, high-speed film cameras. You would spend at least twenty to 30000 a day on film. Their community uh, outreach program couldn't cover a, a piece that was so ambitious as this. And so I just sat on the work for a long time, really kind of wondering, you know, how I could achieve it. And then I met Carmelo and found out about his work. I've been making films for nearly 30 years now and I've never made an art installation. This is my first art installation. His work is often sort of oriented toward the community and his work is of very high quality and so forth. And so it kind of really went from there. When Gary came to me and said he wanted to do an art installation and would you like to work with me on it, I just thought, oh, wow. You know, like, what, show in art galleries? The length doesn't matter. You know, we can be totally abstract. And I just thought, this is fantastic. So I talked to Torstein, the director of photography. Camilla gave me a call, we'd done some work together before and he knew I had a little bit of background in this work, so um, we just sort of worked it out what would be the best camera to use. In the five years since Gary first conceived Collision Course, advances in digital camera technology had made ultra-slow motion far more affordable. Cinematographers had begun using a new, highly advanced digital camera for extreme slow motion, the Phantom HD. The camera was in town one day doing some TV commercials and we got it for a couple of hours. And I remember being out the back of the office with the director of photography, Torstein, and there at one point, you know, I just said, oh, your face would look terrific in slow motion. And, and, and really, I didn't have the guts to slap him, so he slapped himself. And then we could see what the camera was capable of doing. But there was no way I could imagine how we were going to film bodies actually colliding and not hurting themselves. Having found the camera, the team now faced the challenge of finding people from the community who'd be willing to collide with each other. This was a job for someone with a very special combination of talents. 
uh, some kind of body contact somewhere. I've known Claudia for many years. I knew her when she was a dancer. Claudia's a stalwart within the, the dance community. She's uh, known for uh, professionalism and the high quality of her work, both as a dancer and as an organiser, and that's exactly what I needed for something like this. Uh, getting people that didn't know anything about dance together and motivating them, getting excited about this project. The director, Gary Stewart, is looking at not having anything identifiable. So we see you flying in space with a dancer, but we don't know who is what. She could be the capoeira and you could be the dancer. Claudia's skill matching some of the physical sizes of the people and what they were going to do was invaluable. Yeah, so when I arrive come. this way, I crash on you and you scream me back this way. Okay. Yeah. This is a celebration of gathering communities together and different communities and different bodies and integrating them. <laughs> In terms of the actual movements, I think it'll, it will be another day in the office for us, but in terms of the result, um, I think it will be something very different. I'm managing to get to the spaces that the community use and then popping people together, like we had a few swing dancers in tonight with some gymnasts, with some cheerleaders, with some aerobics people, and they were crazy. My early conversations with, with Gary and Claudia were always about safety. My paranoia, until we finished, was that someone was going to get hurt. I trust my training and I trust my eye. And what I'm getting the people to do is to show me their feet and their leap or their connection at a very low level, at a very low percentage, a low rate. And then we kind of keep up in the ante. Nice! But I know that they know how to fall really well and I know they know how to fly really well, so it's safe. The collision course shoot is about to begin at the ABC studios in Perth, and the pressure is on. The team have only three days to film over 140 collisions between members of community groups, most of whom have never met, let alone performed in front of a camera before. As the producer and the co-director, I had different roles. As a producer, I was really worried about people getting hurt. As a co-director, it didn't worry me. I just wanted the best, the best collisions, and the best, you know, action for the film. Gary Stewart has travelled from Adelaide and will be seeing most of the collisions today for the very first time. He's also brought four of his elite dancers from Australian Dance Theatre. We've flown from Adelaide, the company's based in Adelaide, and we've been invited to come over to help the director uh, coordinate some of the action. We do a lot of different training, a lot of tumbling, a lot of acrobatic stuff, great dancing, ballet. I'm used to the aerial movement, used to hitting the floor. I think that's why we've sort of been brought in to help, because we're a bit of a mix of everything. The camera has been flown in from interstate, and the technicians have set it to capture collisions with the maximum possible detail. It's 1,500 frames in one second, so that's what it's taking. So imagine like a stills camera that can take 1,500 frames in one second, so we're like time stretching. But this in itself presents other technical challenges. It's very light hungry, so if you have a look around on how much light we're using, you need a lot of light. It's OK, except that it's in the middle of summer and there's a jumper and there's layers and there's lights, so it's a bit hot. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only complaint. I think in the end we used 70,000 watts of light and the studio at the ABC, the brand new studio, couldn't handle that amount of light off its grid. It's yeah. Rather than you and Kimball. And... Everybody just stay calm. Like, what's happening? I had to go borrow some cables so we could actually run some power from other sections of the building. They'll, they'll be up in a second. OK. We're just switching and moving things around. With the lighting restored, safety equipment in place, and the performers in costume and ready, it's time to launch the collision course shoot. My name is Christopher Behan. I'm 25 years old. Uh, ambition in life, uh, I guess it's always to learn the next thing, always to do the next thing, and so that's what this is a part of. <laughs> OK, camera's ready. One, two, three, go. I'm really impressed with the way that the, everybody is getting involved and just launching. I'm so impressed with that. There's no fear in this room. It's wonderful. Oh, it's so different. Everyone's diverse. I, I've never actually seen anything like it before. I've never done anything like this. It's wicked. 
It's cool, isn't it? Let's keep this and we'll do one more. Do we need to do one more? Oh. It's a really violent one. It's really violent, yeah, we it's don't very want to do violent. You don't want to hit Okay, them. you don't want to do any more then? I thought we... I'll ask the girls. Really Can we just do one more? Yeah, you cool one? with it? Okay. One, two, three. Well Smack done, guys. Down. You tough chicks. What do you like? <laughs> oh, my God. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really incredible. Five girls taking out one man. Awesome. My name's Ben Goodgame and I coach the Rossmore and Rhinos Footy Club. It was great having the footy player in here because he, he's a very solid guy and he really knows how to fall. There were the two dancers, the Australian Dance Theatre guys, that could just completely hit him at full force and he was fine with hitting the deck. It was not unlike what happens on the football field as well when there's a bit of biffo. But it was artistic biffo. Smackdown, big boy. And he's, he's strong enough not to have to worry about hurting him. <laughs> Yours, Gary. One, two, three. During games, you just get smacked from every direction. That's the best part of that footy. And I've been hit like that, so it's perfect for me. <laughs> Are you OK? Yeah. yeah we don't work through that again. That's yeah. probably cool. No, that's all right. Yeah. I guess it's a bit of an ego thing that, you know, people can hit me and then I, I get back up again, no one can hurt. It can be better. We can do more. So, Ben, you're going to jump up, right? OK. That one hurt. <laughs> yeah, that nice. is so beautiful. Nice. There you go. Yeah. They're all off the ground. That is fabulous. That's fantastic. Yeah. Loving it. <laughs> this is my calling. The whole ethos of this installation is to, to mix up people that have different physical disciplines. So it's just it's a whole bunch of people can come together, uh, can kind of unify into one project that normally would never be in the same room with each other, you know, necessarily. So that, that's what's great about it. And it's, it's encouraging because it's actually working. We're Link Dance Company and we're a part of WAPA. This is a really interesting experience because it's all about the moment up here in the air. It's kind of intriguing, <laughs> the danger of the whole thing. Yeah, there's an element in it that makes you feel like you might actually could possibly hurt yourself. Yeah. I somehow don't want them to look like dancers. I want them to come in, you know, just being themselves as much as possible. Because this thing is totally about cause and effect. It's kind of like hitting and then just allowing a response to happen. It doesn't work if you're going to have a little mark or have a practice, you just have to do it. Because we've been trained already, you know where you can kind of hit a person. And avoid injury. <laughs> OK, what I want to do is I want you to do it cracking up laughing the whole time. Just big smiles and laughing, OK? And one, two, three, go. Cracking up laughing, yes! <laughs> OK, good. That's great. Oh, oh Jim, yes. you're just yeah. cracking up. It's great. This is really slow motion crack up. Some of the multiple collisions, the young people in those collisions. Some are Botticelli angels. Some are so beautiful. You know, they are just so gorgeous. And then some of them are kind of brutal. I think the group that needed the least amount of directing were the wrestlers. Hello, I am Bobby Marshall. Dan Moore. Uh, Davis Storm. Devlin Reeves. Yeah. Wow. Wow. As fake fighters, we don't exactly get the most amount of respect everywhere we go. <laughs> Look at the mean faces. That's what I love. Camera's rolling. And one, two, three. Yeah. I just add so much colour and, and it kind of really gives character to the whole project, I think, that probably is, wouldn't have been there without them. 
I normally get some kind of laugh and people are like, for really? You really? You're a wrestler? You're not, you're not that big. Yeah, that's pretty much it. My wife thinks I'm an idiot and she doesn't enjoy wrestling in the slightest. You know, they train in, in what this project is about, the whole jumping in the air, colliding with each other. They're huge guys. They're very good at what they do and they're completely committed. Can we try that again now? <laughs> that's what <it> <laughs> happy to do this as many times as we have to to get it right. We hit each other hard, we hit the mat hard, we collide basically, so I mean, this is right up our alley. <laughs> Being tossed over the head of a power wrestler was like just so much fun. You're a toughie, Claudia. I'd like to think that what we do in the ring is also like a kind of art, like a very violent kind of ballet, I suppose. Maybe not very traditional, but in an abstract kind of way, I think pro wrestling can be an art form, especially when it's done very well. So it only hurts intensely for five or ten seconds. If you can get through that, it's okay. That's it. Awesome. Let's have a look at this. Bobby, you absolutely like suspended in midair. Look at that. and I compete aerobic gymnastics for Australia. We are able to jump and leap and do a lot of quirky things. Bendy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> girls. I'm Chelsea Carroll, I'm 15 and I do sport aerobics. I'm Chloe, I'm 16. I train 60 times a week, three and a half hours after school and then Saturdays it's eight till two. And yeah, still enjoy it, it's good fun. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I love this. You look like this six-legged creature. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> It's interesting this project because without asking the performers really to do much there is inherently a beauty, uh, something that connects to our, our ideas of beauty in Western art. Um, the, the slow motion um, seems to make everything seem almost transcendent and beyond this world. My name is Action Jackson Asiku. Oh. I'm from Uganda. And uh, I'm a world champion IBF. Uh, my name is Christian. I'm WBA featherweight champion. He's very precise. If he wanted to knock me out, he could. So he doesn't want to, so he won't. One, two, three, go. When you feel, your body can take anything. Even they can shoot you with a rock, you know, you won't feel anything. When someone punches you, does it hurt? Yeah, hurt. That's why I don't want them to get hit. <laughs> a little bit of spray on the hair, Mike's hair, please. It's all about the hair. Chris, the moment when you hit uh, Jackson, can you be out of the air still? And one, two, three. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Cool, very, very cool, man. <laughs> okay, My name's Zoe, I used to play elite cricket. And one, two, three, and jump! <laughs> My name's Julie. <laughs> <laughs> We're cricket buddies yeah. from way back. <laughs> Go! Oh, they wanted some mature ladies. We're aging gracefully. I don't want you to go for the ball. I want you to go for her. Okay. So she's marked the ball. So she's going to go you're first going... and I'll go on top of her then. You're going for her body. Okay. Yeah. 
think it happens to be a non-contact sport. <laughs> We didn't really want to smash into each other. The catching part's okay, it's just the colliding. I've got a, a slight fracture in my lower back, just from cricket. So yeah, that's that's my, my weak spot. Uh, it's all yours, Gary. Okay, one, two, three, go. Will I be sore tonight? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Some of the collisions are quite brutal, and we'd expect that. But there's other reasons why people throw themselves on other people. Um, it could be because of love, it could, it could be because of joy and happiness or the need to connect with someone else. There's all sorts of reasons why we kind of do reach out to other bodies and hold other bodies. You went up. Yeah, ready, Gary. So do the action and then just sit down. Oh. Yeah, just, just be standing there, have a I was told I have to go and slap a very big man. But then I thought, well, if I'm going to slap a big man, I have to have a reason. So I imagined one. He used me for sex. I feel angry. <laughs> my, my body's full of adrenaline. My heart's really beating. And one, two, three, go. Oh. <laughs> uh, honestly, I have not much idea what we're doing here. Is it cathartic or how do you no, feel? No, actually, like all violence, you lose. It's awful. It's like a masochistic act going there, don't you reckon? The water's to hide my tears. <laughs> so what, you really like the guy, he's OK, is he? I've never met him before in my life. <laughs> he's probably a nice person. What's his name? <laughs> That's beautiful, guys. It's good, we've had a bit of violence now. Yeah. <laughs> it's we not need all fun and games. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody, the rest of the day. Yeah. It's been a very intense three days. We've achieved a lot. Um, it's felt like a freight train rolling along at great speed. I think the great thing about it was we've got this great sense of diversity and this kind of great sense of a community. And I think all of the people that were involved seem to have a really good time. Have a good flight. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Bye, Claudia. Thanks, guys. When we did the last shot and no one had broken anything, and no one had lost a tooth or broken arm. You know, it was a real relief for me. But the story isn't quite over. Now the directors have 140 amazing collisions to choose from, and an extra set of eyes is called in to assist. We'll go for take two. I like its simplicity. It's like a microscope of time. You can see all these little mini dramas happening within one second of time and your eye would never be able to register it. But the full effect of these stunning images can't be realised until the final key ingredient is added, the soundtrack. The first time I put the images together in sequence, I was sitting in this dark edit suite at midnight and I put the music track on with the images and just played it. And that music just sent me into another world. Samantha had given us some CDs and we were using some of her music in some of our other films. And one particular track was very haunting and, you know, it was, it was kind of almost slow motion.
I did the vocals for that piece around the time that I was pregnant. It was just created from me just expressing a resonant voice and then we just put it all together and it created this soundscape that just was transporting. You would never be able to see something like that if it hadn't been for this camera. Some of our skill as the artist is really just to realise that this equipment and process exists and then do it and bring it to the viewer. You know, I really think that this piece is going to be very terrible and, and because it's quite accessible. It's a video installation that will be seen all around the world on the outside of cultural centres and sporting facilities and so forth, but also in galleries and museums. I think it, it'll sort of be really beautiful in both contexts and it's a community project so everyone can in some way see themselves in it. This has really been liberating and I think it's been wonderful working with someone as creative as Gary and someone who had this uh, uh, original dream, you know, and helping him realise his dream. It was just one of those experiences that was really unique getting a hundred people in a room that normally wouldn't necessarily spend any time together and doing something that's incredibly creative and, and having a really great time doing it. It's kind of a metaphor. It is. It's it is, is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>